So now in this video, we're just going to build a simple comparator circuit using a comparator integrated circuit. And so this is the LM393. It's a dual comparator. There's one comparator on this side and one comparator on that side. We're going to use a 5 volt power supply. It's a single supply. There's a positive and negative. This is a low voltage component. We can go down to 2 volts with a single supply or we can use a 1 volt positive to 1 volt negative split power supply. So basically 2 volts across them but you have a ground in between them. And also you can use higher voltages. So you can use 36 volts with a single supply or an 18 volt split supply. So 18 volts positive, 18 negative and uh, so there's a wide range. So to begin with we're going to use the uh, power supply and the uh, trim pot but we'll talk about the uh, trim pot coming up so we'll zoom in so we can see what's going on here so first we're gonna go in the order that we are not blocking what we're gonna wire up next so up on top here is gonna be the LED so the long lead the anode comes to the output of the integrated circuit there and then the short lead the cathode goes up here so as I said this is our output which actually only sinks current so we'll get to that coming up this is the inverting input and then that's the non inverting input and basically what this does it compares the two voltages across here and when the non inverting input is higher than the inverting input voltage wise we will get a high output the LED will be lit up and when the non inverting input is a lower voltage than the inverting input then we will have a low output here the LED will be off and uh, we'll come to that in a little bit so we're going to protect the LED with a 1 kilo ohm resistor and so now you notice we're actually putting this resistor to the positive rail the comparator here actually does not power the the load at all and uh, all it does is either it's sinking current so it's giving a low signal to ground or basically it's a switch that is turned off so the high signal is actually provided by the uh, resistor and this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor I just noticed the uh, red stripe so we want the 1 kilo ohm and now it can only sink about 16 milliamps of current so not high amounts of current so if we have 5 volts across this resistor since it's a 1 kilo ohm resistor we will have 5 milliamps of current so we could go lower with the uh, resistor uh, in this circuit but I'm going to use the 1 kilo ohm for 5 milliamps of current that's going to be plenty so now we're going to go to the inverting pin and for this circuit I want a set voltage at the inverting pin that will set the voltage where things happen so I'm gonna leave a connection point there free so we have that resistor coming there we're gonna this is 10 kilo ohms is that value doesn't matter but really any current flowing through this is wasted current none of the current goes into the non inverting pin because we're gonna grab this resistor and put it to the negative rail also 10 kilo ohms and then uh, plug it into the same row so now we have a voltage divider so 5 volt power supply we'll have 2.5 volts here and uh, I'll get the, the multimeter out and we will measure that so turn the power on this is an auto range meter it's pretty easy to uh, set the voltage all I have to do is set it to voltage and make sure we are in the voltage spot but uh, now the output is high and the inverting input pin is still floating it's not connected to anything but if we come here we see that uh, where these two resistors connect we have basically 2.5 volts and of course there's 5 volts at the rail so they're equal value resistors 10 kilo ohms 10 kilo ohms uh, they connect together and then the other side of them are connected to the power rail 
So that gives us half of the power supply voltage since they are equal value. Now we are going to turn that off and might as well turn the uh, power supply off. Well we can leave it on, doesn't matter. So now we have the trim pot which is a variable voltage divider. So again it is connected to the positive rail and the negative rail. There's a resistive path across there and a wiper. So it's about halfway right now. We're going to have about half of the power supply voltage. Again, that's about 5 volts. And you can see it's about 2.5 volts there. We turn it more towards the negative rail, it's going to go down. We can go all the way down to nothing, of course. So there's 0 volts. We can go almost all the way to the positive rail. I'm just doing this really quick. And we have almost the 5 volts. And we can go all the way up to the rail for 5 volts. So now we're just going to take a jumper here because again the input only looks at voltage it doesn't let any current through just a very very small trickle and an insignificant amount so we're going to make sure we get to the non-inverting input and so right now the resistor there remember we have 2.5 volts fixed the uh, trim pot here I should say the variable voltage divider is higher than 2.5 volts so now the output is high and I, uh, there's my screwdriver so I'm going to uh, shift this so I don't block the light so I'm going to turn this and uh, not block that LED turn the voltage down there we go the LED went off about there and if I keep going down it's gonna stay off but uh, there you can see we're below 2.5 volts so we just recently crossed down below 2.5 volts and uh, so when the non-inverting input has a lower voltage than the inverting input then the LED is off so our output is considered low so non-inverting is lower the output is low and then uh, we turn it here now the non-inverting input has a higher voltage than the inverting input as you can see there so slightly above 2.5 volts so it's a higher voltage gives us a high output and so it's only on off so there's no like in between like a halfway point for the output or anything it just compares the two voltages and either sets the output high or low so hopefully that all made sense I'm planning on doing a number of uh, op amp and comparator videos coming up and uh, so hopefully I explain it better but uh, uh, hopefully this still made sense so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video